from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventure. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. This week on Americana Outdoors, it's all about bucks and bass. We'll take you to the Cabela's Ranger Experience in Flippin, Arkansas for a unique behind the scenes access to our friends in the industry. But first, we'd like to hit the fields for some bow hunting today and showcase just how exciting archery can be for both beginners and experts alike. When you talk to most people that have really gotten into bow hunting, it's about that addiction to that up close and personal aspect when it comes to hunting, about how the game is, is oftentimes right there in their lap. And, and for lack of a better word, they can see the deer breathing. They can you know feel every movement and every movement that they make is amplified. So as deer hunters, a lot of them that you talk to that have become addicted to it are really drawn to that up close and personal aspect of it. You, know, you look at you know, our staff member, Clark Winlet, uh, you know, this guy likes the outdoors. He's absolutely, like is an understatement, he loves the outdoors. Obviously one of the best bass fishermen uh, in the nation, but his, his number two passion is actually hunting whitetails, big whitetails, mature whitetails. And he likes to spend a lot of time studying them and patterning them and everything. And, and to hear him tell it as he got into chasing this one particular deer this year, it had become an obsession for him and his brother who was running the camera to get his sights on this buck. What we've really been seeing is, is a whole lot of photos there off the stealth cam of bucks moving up and down that road, coming down, going down into that river bottom, moving back out of it. It's just kind of a, it, it, we think it's just a great segue. We're gonna get in there really early, it's cold. We got in there early, got set up, it was freezing cold. I had the camera on and, and I could see that it, you know, I could see good enough and told him we got good enough light and the next instant that deer walks out. And about that time, he sticks his head up like I've seen deer during the rut do so many times and, and looks like he's just gonna take off walking down that dam. My brother just made an instant decision. I can't scare this deer, but I gotta stand up where I can see him. And so he stands up, you see the camera kind of point to the sky, come up over a limb, and all of a sudden, boom, it's right back on the deer. It was like flawless. I thought I hit that deer absolutely perfectly. I just wasn't exactly sure how much penetration I got. And so as he ran away and I sit there, I'm just doubting myself. And I mean, that is an excruciating hour and a half. What we're gonna do is, is go in and just see, make sure there's, find, see if we can find some blood. We kind of know where he ran and, you know, hopefully, it's, hopefully we're gonna find him quick. Here it goes right here. Still going here. There he is! Oh my gosh, check this! <laughs> look at the look at the size of this deer right here. There's just no feeling like it. I mean, it's really surreal. I, mean, I know there's deer like that, you know, scattered through the hill country, but to do that on a little 200 acre low fence place, pretty incredible. You know, when you start looking at, at deer hunting and all the gear associated with it, uh, it's easy to see why, you know, companies like Cabela's really have such a wide range of products available. And, and we'll start talking about the, the lineup of bows there. When you go into a Cabela store or you're online flipping through all the ones that are available or checking out the catalog, you see a wide range of, of different types of bows available for a hunter uh, or just a, a recreational shooter. And many of them are designed for specific needs from beginners all the way to experts to certain types of game species that somebody could be hunting. And that's why it requires a little bit of a planning and a little bit of understanding on what bows you want to be picking. Before you hit the field, find the right bow for you. Visit your local Cabela's for the best guidance and selection of archery products, or visit them online at cabelas.com.
gill that I've used for the last five years has been a far superior product than anything else on the market. The main thing that's really important to me is me being dry. I've been wearing gill suits now for three years and never once have I gotten wet. When you pack your cooler for a barbecue or even a tailgate party, be sure to pack it with Chillin' Brew, powered by Arctic Ice. Chillin' Brew in a cooler can keep beer at the perfect drinking temperature longer than ice. Grab some brews and Chillin' Brew today. My secret weapon? Evercom. It's the first ever calming scent. It's real smells from bedding areas. To deer, that means safety. Evercom reassures even nervous deer. Which can help you get the shot. I use Evercom all season long. Put it on your boots, your pants, and your decoy. It's stick form, won't wash away or freeze. Evercom. 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 From the family deer farm at Conquest Sense. Engineered to excel, the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series are built for the ultimate ownership experience. It's a commitment to excellence packed with real-world advantages and exclusive features. Experience the accelerated performance standards of the legendary Ranger Z series. From first light to last cast, they're put together to set you apart. Yamaha Outboards, reliability starts here. member of the Yamaha off-road family. It thrives in the most remote, rugged terrain. It never steps down from a challenge and travels long distances in search of adventure. The all-new Yamaha Wolverine. It's a whole new animal. The Pan Optics is the future of fishing. We can see our lures coming in. We can choose the proper lures for the depth of fish are in. It makes fishing so much easier when you go to a new body of water because now you can really identify with the bass, figure out where they're feeding, what depth they're at, and really learn how they're reacting to your lures. To be able to see that kind of stuff and understand it and then interpret it, put it into your game, unbelievable. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Garmin. Fight your fish, not your fish finder. Cabela's, it's in your nature. Smith & Wesson, made in the USA since 1852. Nikon Sport Optics, trust earned Nikon. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Today we've been showcasing archery with some hunts from the staff while also learning just what to look for when choosing your next bow. One of the things I think is important is finding something that fits somebody for any activity that's out there. Uh, and archery is, is definitely something that's very, very important to be fitted the right way. Uh, you know, so when Cody, who had virtually no experience uh, in archery and no experience in the hunting world, decided that he wanted to learn to, you know, shoot a bow and learn more about it, we felt like the instigator would be a perfect starter bow for him. I really like the, the instigator as, as my, you know, my first bow because num number one, it's lightweight. Number two, I mean, you can adjust it from 35 to 65 pounds. It's something that I can go for a long period with. It's not something that an entry level just has to use and then they have to move on to the next bow. It's something that you can grow with it. And there's a lot of adjustments that you can do. And um, from the entry level to someone that shoots all the time, um, you know, it's, it can go any which way you want it to. You know, my advice has always been to somebody that is just starting out, that has that passion for it, is to find something that really fits them, to find something that feels good and build from there. 
Well, I got my first doe, we tracked it down. It was, <laughs> it was a bit of a track. We tracked it for probably half a mile and um, finally found her. Can't wait to bring her back, get some meat on the table. You know, Cody's been able to go out and, and shoot it a lot. He's had success with it, he's hunted with it, and he already understands what he's looking for and what he needs. You know, shooting my first bow, it's definitely turned me on to bow hunting, and I will, I think I'll always be a bow hunter now. I love it. You know, my experiences in bow hunting, you know, they date back to my teenage years of sitting on two by fours and, uh, you know, trying to shoot them with, with recurves. And then as I graduated up, obviously I had lots of other opportunities, but I just, I, I love the feeling of getting a buck in range and coming into full draw and, and settling the, the, the sight right on that deer and, and making a perfect shot. And that requires a lot of practice and something that I enjoy doing a lot of different times. But I tell you, uh, it's very difficult to get a good buck into range. You know, there, it's not uncommon to set up a stand and think you've got this stand absolutely perfect. It makes all the sense in the world. Every aspect uh, and every reason why a deer should be there is right there in front of you. And then for whatever reason, it just doesn't happen. We had a particular stand this year that we put up, uh, you know, back in the summer, built it, had a lot of rain, had a great slough beside it, uh, trails all the way around it, bedding areas off to this side. You know, starting back to the first week of deer season, I had been sitting in this stand on occasion, as well as other people, and had uh, hopes for great success, had seen a lot of sign. Uh, scouting cameras were showing indications of deer rubs in the area, trails beat down like crazy, uh, water source right there, I mean, all the variables to, you know, have a great uh, hunting location were there with the exception of bucks coming through. Um, so as the season began to progress, I, I could not get this stand out of my mind. And I just felt like it was time to get back into this stand. We haven't sat there in a long time. And as I climbed up in there, uh, we kind of broke about every rule there was. And a lot of this won't translate on the TV, but there was a flock of turkeys roosting over the stand. Uh, we banged the, the stand about 15 times. You know, we had lights going on out there. And as you climb into that, it becomes demoralizing when you clip yourself in, but hey, you're hunting, you wade it out. When Americana Outdoors returns, we'll see if Wade's patient persistence can pay off. I had been saying all year long, this is where it's gonna go down. The deer's gonna come from the left, he's gonna, he's gonna cross right there, and we're gonna get him. You know, a good knife is something that um, you can't ever underestimate the importance of. That's why when we found out about Bubba Blade a couple years ago, it was uh, just like this eye-opening experience. We now had a knife that could do everything we needed to do, and it didn't matter what we were doing. It didn't matter whether we were cutting pizza at home, cutting up salami, or cleaning deer. It didn't matter whether we were cleaning or, or filleting the roughest fish we'd ever dealt with. It handled everything we needed it to do. To learn more about the Bubba Blade, visit their website at BubbaBlade.com. After your next successful fishing trip, savor the flavor with a Bradley Smoker. They have a whole list of creative recipes for catch with a wide variety of delicious smoky wood flavors. Find out more about making your meal as memorable as the fishing trip at bradleysmoker.com. Fast, affordable, and incredibly light. The all-new Shadow Ultralight from Tenpoint. The lightest and most compact crossbow on the market today. Tenpoint. There is no substitute. Experience High Viz, a brighter sight better than standard sights, giving you an immediate, more successful shooting performance. High Viz lets you see a dramatic contrast between the target and the barrel for a more intuitive aim that delivers instant results. Our light pipes come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and colors, designed to be seen in a variety of conditions. With our broad line of sights, you'll see your marksmanship dramatically improve, bringing more fun and confidence into every shooting experience. Shoot more accurately. Enjoy the sport. Choose High Viz. Heavy duty, rugged, and designed for the big game hunter and angler. The Food Saver Game Saver Titanium Vacuum Sealer has the power and performance to seal in the freshness of your game and fish for up to three years, five times longer than standard storage methods. And with its extra wide dual and repetitive sealing capabilities, that's a ton of big game savings. Tough tested and rated 4.8 out of five stars by outdoorsmen just like you. The Food Saver Titanium System, it's a true game changer. At 
Amphibia, we've resolved to build a product that nobody else offers using methods that nobody else is using, optimized for life on water and land. The choice of top bass fishing pros. Amphibia frames are designed to fit comfortably no matter how your face is shaped, to stay firmly in place through your most physical activities and to float in water. Amphibia sunglasses are truly designed for life on the water. Nikon's no-fault policy was created for those who continually push the envelope, travel the farthest, stay the longest, brave the most hostile elements. We do our best to deliver on our promise of a lifetime of performance. And we'll stand with you should accidents happen. Trust earned. Nikon. Comfortable to carry, comfortable to shoot. It's slim, concealable, and powerful protection. The M&P Shield by Smith & Wesson. Confidence? We perfected that years ago. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Bradley Smoker. Food smoking made easy. Thompson Center, America's master gun maker. Stealth Cam. Stealth Cam digital scouting cameras. The game has changed. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Well, after months of preparation and no buck to show for his latest creek stand, Wade is back out on the stand on an early January morning, hoping for a big payoff today. You know, when I set up a stand, I, I set it up not only for the excitement of, of where the deer should be in the area, where are they gonna cross, where they wanna funnel, but I'm always, always thinking about the perfect shot, the perfect angle, where that deer should cross at, where he should be, and uh, this one particularly, at 22 yards out there, had where I thought it all should go down. It was the perfect spot for a deer to walk by. Indeed, Wade's spot couldn't have been more perfectly placed as evidence of multiple sightings on scouting cameras over the months. Wade was in the right place. He just needed to be there at the right time. You know, a lot of times preparation is the biggest thing to, to you know, in any type of hunting situation. And in our world of trying to get hunts on TV, preparation is, is huge. We had a plan because we knew the conditions were getting right for this stand to literally go in the night or the afternoon before and put a, a camera underneath my feet that I would be able to manipulate a little bit while Kevin stood behind me and worked this new high-end slow motion angle that we were wanting to put in on a, uh, on a hunt. You know, and when you start throwing all these other gadgets in there into something that's as intricate as, as bow hunting, you can really ask for a lot of mistakes, but sometimes things just happen to work out the right way and I already in my mind had visualized what could potentially go down <laughs> it's like a smoke team right there I mean smoke team. you know everything in my mind had played to this point all year long as I went to full draw and, and let that arrow go while he was basically walking, everything really set up right there. And I had been saying all year long, this is where it's gonna go down. The deer's gonna come from the left. He's gonna, he's gonna cross right there and we're gonna get him. When you first looked at this, this little slough here was full of water. The, the pond is almost dry now in comparison to what it was. God, I mean, we got in here early, it's a full moon. <laughs> that was so awesome. <laughs> All season long, I had played this over and over in my mind how it would go down. And when you get into those situations, that's almost like practice, for lack of a better word. You're, you're mentally preparing yourself for what's going to go down. So uh, this was one that I'm going to remember a long time because of the factors for our, all of our team came together, and we got a great one. 
You know, that's why we practice all year long. That's why we walk around on the range and we sit out there and we know our distances. And just when you make a great shot with a bow, it just makes you feel good. In this case here, it was a culmination of a lot of hard work, a great buck, perfect camera work. And uh, I got fortunate and made a shot that I probably, in hindsight, if I wouldn't have mentally practiced all year long and been so comfortable with, I might not have taken that shot. Because in real life, when you watch that buck, he's moving pretty quick. In slow motion, he looks a lot slower. When you look at the whole lineup of Cabela's bows that uh, you know we're talking about and using in a lot of our shows here on American Outdoors, the, the instigator, you know, built for a, a first-time hunter all the way up to a seasoned person, but really probably more for a small frame hunter. Uh, then you go to the regulator and the credence, they are great bows that are just perfect out of the out of the box for a lot of hunters across the nation. And you take it all the way to the Excite, which is basically a top-of-the-line high-performance bow, you've got a full range of bows that anybody is going to have success with and that they're going to be happy with so it's not uncommon for us when, when we're out shooting them to have one of everything out in the field. Are you still looking for your perfect shot? Check out the Cabela's Instinct Broadheads for the nerve calming confidence you'll need in that crucial moment. Well stay with us when Americana Outdoors returns we take you to this year's Cabela's Ranger experience in Flippin Arkansas. provide the ultimate lightweight fishing platforms that will offer anyone what they want when it comes time to hit the water. Hobie Kayak's commitment to innovation, quality, and owner satisfaction is unparalleled in the industry. So when it's time for you to go kayaking, remember there's only one name to remember, and that's Hobie Kayak. Ingles got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more. Ingle coolers go with the original. Stealth Cam, trail cameras with features you demand. With the durability and performance you can count on. Built to withstand even the harshest conditions. Stealth Cam, join the trail cam revolution. The world's best fishing line is now available in the United States. Sunline FX2, the strongest braid available. <laughs> this braid, I oh, absolutely love it. Reliable, proven. Until there's no more ground to cover and no more stories to tell. When you're a TC Venture Hunter, the hunt never ends. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Yamaha ATV, real world tough. Chillin' Brew, the coolest addition to your cooler. And Gill. Respect the elements. Welcome to Bull Shoals in North Central Arkansas. 
This is day two of a very special adventure available to Cabela's Club Card members. This is the Cabela's Ranger Boat Experience, where a lucky few get a rare behind the scenes glimpse of the Ranger Boat Factory and its role in the origins of tournament bass fishing. In the 60s, as these lakes, lakes were built, nobody had really thought about largemouth bass other than just ones caught in a natural river system. But once these reservoirs were built, and this one, Forrest can attest to it and will be able to tell you about it himself, as they, as they learned these fish grow and they grow in these creek arms and they were so much fun to catch, it really spawned an industry. And Forrest was able to tack on to that very early on. He had a in case you haven't figured it out, the man Keith is speaking of is the legendary Forrest Wood the founder of Ranger Boats and the developer of the modern bass boat. We'll get to meet him later as part of this one-of-a-kind trip put together by our friends at Cabela's. So the Cabela's Club Experience is a program that gives access, behind, we like to say behind the scenes access, to the best brands in the industry. We chose this tour because I wanted something my wife and I could do together. I did the Bowtech tour last year and Cabela's did an outstanding job taking care of us, so I figured we'd do another tour this year and our goal is to do one a year that we can go, uh, go to and enjoy together. And my wife likes to fish, and I bought, my dad bought a Ranger in 75, and I've actually still got that Ranger, so this one was kind of special to me because Ranger boats, Cabela's, and my wife and I being able to do it together, so it just seemed like the perfect combination. I think everybody's just really excited for something different, not a canned vacation where they come to somewhere very touristy, but they are excited about that unique, um, crafted for them experience. You know, it's a privilege to be part of the Signature Club where we can do some of these trips. You get to go behind the scenes and see how stuff's either built or, uh, you know, I know like the Ruger experience, uh, we've heard a lot of people talk about it. So we'll definitely do another trip next year. It's fun for us to have the group in today because you can see it's it's a it's a enjoyable thing for them and something that maybe I take for granted living and doing this every day uh, to have people come in and and get to experience this for the first time and, and meet Forrest and Nina. It's just it's an honor for us to be able to uh, be a part of that. One of the highlights of this experience is a personal tour of Forrest and Nina Woods personal collection led by the man himself. When I walk around in here and look at all of these plaques on the wall, pictures and so forth. I have a lot of fond memories of a lot of days gone by. And think about how many people we've touched in the 40 some years we've been building boats. Actually, this goes back farther than boat building though. It goes back to the guiding days, turn uh, float trips on the White River and so forth. And just uh, a lot of efforts and activities during our lifetime. I think what makes this experience so unique is, again, that relationship that Cabela's has and with these vendors and these pro staff and how we are able to bring our customers and, and match that up. When I saw the opportunity to get on deck with the pros for a couple days, it was a no-brainer. Uh, you really can't buy that kind of an experience. At least I didn't think you could until I ran across this one. Hey, we've had a lot of fun today. We're uh, on bull shows here as part of the Cabela's experience. And we have, uh, you know, they, they got a tour of the plant yesterday. We had meals with Forrest and Nina and Randy Hopper and all the staff from Ranger Boats. And now we're out here in a little mock tournament where, you know, we got David Walker, James Niggermeyer, Jeff Reynolds and myself. And we've ran all over the lake trying to catch keepers. And we've had a great day of fishing. I don't know how many fish we've caught, but uh, you know, it's a pretty good number. Uh, no giants really today, but we've got our line stretch, and that's really, you know, the big part of it. But there's also been a lot of talk about, you know, knot tying and baits and map looking, you know, reading different things of why we'd fish in one place or not. And that's a big part of these experience type trips so that people can, you know, view it from the eyes of the guys that are out here fishing all the time. I didn't up tugging a little butter. Yes, he is, but they've all been tugging like yeah. that. Oh, this one's got some color to them. Don't go under the boat. They shrink when they get closer. Not every day you get a chance to do this, especially with guys of this caliber on the boat, showing you things, teaching you technique. Uh, yeah, that's a good one there. That's a keep for sure. Yeah. 
This is a great event. I mean, to be able to come out here to beautiful Bull Shoals Lake, be a part of this Cabela's and Rangers experience, it's, uh, it's just incredible. Meeting all these wonderful folks from all over the country, getting a chance to pursue my passion, get out there and go bass fishing. Yeah, there you go. So these Cabela's Club members um, are eligible for these trips by being in our silver and black level cards. Um, in order to get there, there's certain spend and credit requirements that they've got to meet. But essentially, these are our top of the line best customers. The overall experience for a trip like this, you know, when you, when you look at it, it's the learning and the exposure and, and getting to do things that are outside of the norm. And for people that are looking for enjoyable trips like this, this Cabela's Experience Program, whether you're going on a hunting trip or going to a factory or going out on the water on something like this, is something that a person definitely wants to look at and get out and uh, learn something new and go out with the pros. Learn more about upcoming Cabela's Club Card experiences. You can look it up online at cabelas.com or visit your local Cabela's retail store. If you enjoyed this show, then we encourage you to check out americanaoutdoors.com for more great stories from the field. And a special thanks to our sponsors for making this episode possible. If you're in the market for new gear, please support those that support us. Americana Outdoors is a CareCo TV production. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.